on the fire break close to the eastern arm that links down to Bobbles at Dam, you will find around Leaf Teak and head south from there. We're about 50 meters south of the road. Well, even though she's just having a toilet break, at least we get to see her up and on the move. It does appear that the rest of the pride you'll notice in the background have got their heads up, the ones yawning, and these are all good indicators of summer grooming, and these are the good signs that we were hoping to see. Well, it's difficult for me to count from where we are. It is very thick. I'm going to try and reposition shortly. So let's do that now. And then we'll count how many there are, but there should be eight. It's going to be a little bit tricky wherever we are because there's a lot of vegetation around them. But here we can see the young male. So he would have been born into this pride and is possibly the son of the female that he's grooming now. So a little bit of bonding between the mother and her boy. He may not be may not be able to groom her for much longer as I did say that he is getting to stay where his fathers may chase him out of this territory there's no set age for this to happen but anywhere from about two and a half to three years they can start getting pressure he may be forgiven ever so slightly because he is on his own if there was two or three brothers alongside him, they may well already be having to fend for themselves. Well, I hope you are having fun getting some screenshots because this certainly is a beautiful, beautiful sight and our timing appears to be perfect because the lion are beginning to move. There will be a few more toilet stops. And I'm hoping then one of the lioness will get up and start heading south towards Buffalo Dam, where we've just come from. And then we'll get to see them drinking. So that's what we all want to hope for. Either way, though, this is absolutely wonderful. And I hope you're enjoying every second of it. I just got a question through from Sharon, and good afternoon Sharon. Sharon said that she heard that the adults will lose their spots or rosettes as they become older, yet she could still see the spots on some of the legs of these lioness. Now I'm not sure exactly which lion's legs you were talking about, as there's quite a few around here, but this one is a youngster, and its spots certainly are more prominent than the older ones, but even the old lions, depending on the individual, will have rosettes visible. So it's just something that fades out, but will always be there, just very faint. And depending on the sunlight and the angle you're looking at them, they may be more pronounced 
in certain scenarios compared to others. Bottles are down. This is absolutely beautiful and you can probably tell by the sound of my camera going off that I'm enjoying taking a few pictures of this and seeing as though you all have to listen to me clicking away, if you would like to see any of the pictures, I do put them up on my Facebook page, so go and have a look at that on Scott Dyson Safaris or every now and then we also put them up onto the Wild Earth page as well. So check out those pages and here we go, here we have potentially the dominant lioness, but it's just one heading off for a toilet break, but at any point now they could get up and start moving and I'm confident it will happen in the next 5 or 10 minutes. Hopefully before that and again more of them appear to be getting up and stretching. So, for those of you who have possibly just tuned in, well, good timing firstly. Um, I'm just going to let you know that this is the Nkuhuma Pride of Lion. So it is a Pride of Lion that we do see fairly regularly on our property here at Juma. And there should be eight of them. I can see seven at the moment, but the eighth one may just be out of view. And now they are slowly mobile towards the dam, I'm hoping. And it's Buffelsook Dam, so we're in the northwest, northeastern corner of our property. They are not heading directly there, but are kind of veering in the general direction. And I think what they may be doing is possibly heading onto a road that is close by and in the direction that they are moving off to now. And once they get onto that road, they in all likelihood will follow it to the dam. At least that's what I hope. So, now we need to decide what to do. That's a bit steep for us to go down. I 
but somebody's kindly just making a little bit of space for us. I'm just going to wait for them to get into position. We typically try and only move one vehicle at a time in a sighting when the animals are stationary. Like it. Um, they're heading a bit more east than south, but 